and you not have a significant amount of uh, consent-based uh, users. Okay. It's a fair question. I think it depends on the use cases. Like yeah. if you would ship data to advertising platforms, usually there's a threshold of volume you need, right? While if you use it in own channels, at least I believe is every awesome interaction that you can build for a customer is a win, even though it's only 30% or 40% of customers that you can personalize on the website through email or even better through customer support or stuff like that. Mm. So I think it's, it's important to figure out what is the use case and start usually with the owned channels because that's what you control and where you have a direct interaction with the customer and see if you can use that info to remove points in a customer journey where there's friction. I'm typically using the use case of, um, I call my telco provider 15 times to figure out why the hell it's taking so long that my ticket is not being resolved and the 16th time I need to re-explain my whole problem again. It, to me, it makes no sense. Mm. Because they have all of the data, they know who I am, they know which tickets I have logged. So instead of me providing all of that info again, they actually should be able to have that overview and make my journey less um, or more frictionless. Mm. So I think those are the low-hanging fruit use cases and all of the rest is like depending on the volume those will open up.